Hey guys, Tristan from the CPAPstore.ca. You can probably tell what we're reviewing today. I got the halos on already. We are reviewing the Bleep Nasal Mask. Now, I've been trying to review this mask for a while now, but it's not available in Canada, and they probably won't be coming to Canada anytime soon because their team is small. They're not like a ResMed, right? So it's not really worth their time to target the smaller market of Canada. Most of you guys are probably from the States, so what do I think of Bleep? This is probably the most excited I've been to test out a mask and show it to you guys because I think it is is such a good mask and I think everyone talks about the halos and obviously what makes a bleep a bleep you know putting it on the nose no problem taking it off easy no headgear anything like that and obviously that's great but I think what really shines with the bleep is also they've nailed all the other parts of a mask that sometimes get overlooked to create a package that is just so simple and so perfect. I'm now looking at these other masks that are over-engineered. I'm like, why did they have to do it like that after testing bleep? So here we have the mask here. We have the two pillows. Nodules move super easily around. So to fit pretty much any nose. You see the magnets right here. And these magnets basically attach onto the metal halos that are on your nose. Now it takes a while to learn how to cut these. And I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. But basically when you have it ready to go, you can just take your mask, pop one nostril on, pop the other nostril on, put it on like that, and there you go. You don't need any headgear, no red marks, no messing up the hair. These magnets are super strong so they don't come off in the night. And most importantly, you're not gonna get any leaks. So you can see that the mask is on me now. One thing I've talked about a lot is my squishy nose, right? And so with some masks that are harder, if I move my nose to the side, right, I get a mask leak. But as you can see, if I turn the bleep, no matter how much I push my face. There is never going to be a leak because there there can't be. The magnets are around the halo 100%. They're pretty tough to get off. This is not they didn't cheap out on the magnets, that's for sure. They're super strong, so I can move my nose any which way I want, squish it all around the pillow, no leaks whatsoever. And we have no leaks, you have so many better benefits with no leaks. When you have no leaks, you're not gonna get things like dry eyes or as much puffiness around the face. And obviously the CPAP therapy is gonna be a lot more effective uh, for your treatment. So looking at the ergonomics of the mask, we have a 360 swivel right here where the light tube connects to the climate line. We can take this off very easily, but also if you wanna clean it, they made a way that you can take this off too. So you can take off this tube and clean all around here. Super easy, look at that. Then we have this little tube here. This also disconnects from the like cushion itself. So you have a completely unobstructed tube here which you can actually use a tube brush on. Now the diffuser can also be unvelcroed and taken off and washed. It's just so easy to clean and take apart and when you wanna put it back together, all snaps back together. Nothing over-engineered, no weird swivel ball joints, right? It just swivels, it swivels. It's everything you would want in a quick connect, easy to release, tube design, swivel design, like overall. Now as for the diffuser, like I said, it Velcros off really easily and you have this very soft, nice diffuser here, okay? And then you also have the little holes up front. So some masks, like for example, a Nova Micro just has the holes. So they are really easy to exhale out of, um, but they have a little more wind blowing around. And then some masks, like an N30 for example, they kind of clamshell the kind of felt filter design within the mask itself. So it's a lot harder to clean and it's harder to dry when it gets wet. Um, but here we have the best of both worlds because it's not over-engineered. You have holes and you have your diffuser and they go on top of each other and they work perfectly. Like, I don't know what else to say. I used it on my anemometer, testing the wind speeds of the diffuser. It was barely any wind. I think I got 0.2 meters per second, which would be the lowest wind speed of every mass I've tested so far, making it the best diffuser on the market. So it's not just that it has a good design in terms of like the no headgear, like magnet clip option. It has the best design in terms of the diffuser, it has one of the best designs in terms of cleaning. It has the, one of the best designs in terms of the 360 swivel and you know breaking it apart. It is such a phenomenal design mask, I must say. And then we get to the actual thing people are talking about is the magnets and like they're easy to put on, they're easy to take off. So basically to take them off, I hold my nose and I put my finger in between these guys here like this and I pop them off like that, super easy. 
if you just tug on it or like pull it, it kind of pulls your nose. You don't want to pull the stickers off unless it's like the morning, but say I'm going in the middle of the night, gonna pee or whatever. I just hold this, hold that, and there you go. Look how easy that is. And then when I come back to bed, I lay down, I use this on a two puck, grab it, hold my nose, bang, bang, and ready to rock. So the pros of this mask are the fact that it has no red marks, uh, no bad hair, the magnets and the halos are very strong. Oh, the size of it, it's also smaller than, it's basically, it's like smaller, this is a N30 here, it's smaller than an N30 because it's basically the size of an N30 without the headgear. So it's probably the smallest mask on the market, making it such a great travel combo. Uh, for example, if I take this guy here, you got a tube, here's the Air Mini here, like tiny, tiny combo. Um, and it's also great at high pressure because the main thing of it is not only is it ergonomically fantastic, but also you have zero leaks, which is the main thing. I feel like I haven't discussed that enough because I saw a lot of YouTubers saying zero leak mask, blah, 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 and that's the main selling point of this mask. And I feel like no one gave it credit for all the other good things it does. But of course, the main overarching pro is that it's the best ceiling mask on the market. Zero leaks, it's fantastic. Let's dub into some of the cons here. So the cons here is that you have these guys here that you have to stick to your nose, okay? I don't think it's that big of a deal because I never had really any red marks and I find it no problem at all to take them off. There you go, they're off, toss them, but you do have to put them on before bed. So I guess that is a con. That being said, however, I would say it's probably sticking them on takes the same amount of time for me now as putting on a headgear. For some people, it might take a while to learn how to do it. The next thing is, another con is, I think you would need a two puck. You can do it use it without a two puck, but this mask does pull on your nose a little bit. There's a little bit of weight on your nose because of the magnets, there's no headgear kind of pulling it back. And because of that, if you use a two puck, it's even better of an experience. Um, so it's not really a con, but it's just something to note. If you do get this mask, I definitely would recommend in getting a tube hook. Um, the next thing is at high pressures, I think it's a no brainer between this, for example, and a P10 because the diffuser on this is a lot better. Um, so it's a lot easier to exhale out of at higher pressures than I find the P10, um, just because the holes are bigger and then you just have like the softness. Uh, so you don't get any wind, but it's also still easy to exhale. So I would take this over high pressures as well as uh, leaks, you're having way less leaks with this and it's way easier to move around on your face, more comfortable, et cetera, et cetera. However, if you're on lower pressures and you're not really even ever really seeing leaks on a P10, um, maybe your back sleeper, you don't move around a lot, then like maybe this would still just be easier. The P10 is a still lightweight mask. Once you get used to it, it feels like there's nothing on you. And um, if you're never having leaks anyways, because you're using a pressure of like four to 10, then like I'd probably just go with a P10 uh, just cause then I wouldn't have to buy halos all the time. But if you have higher pressures, um, that's when this guy shines even more, okay? And so leading from that is the price, is, is it worth it? So the thing is the bleep mask itself is actually pretty well priced, it's about $90. You do need to buy the halos, okay? And the halos are about $18 for 16 nights, which basically what I've seen now. Some websites do like spend X amount, you get 10% off or whatever, so it might be less than that, but for most websites it's around $18 US um, for 16 nights of use. So 365 nights for a year divided by 16 nights, you need about 23 packs per year. That being said, I did add an extra pack because chances are you are gonna mess up one of these sometimes um, sometimes you might put it on wrong or whatever. Probably gonna need something more closer to 24 packs in the year, so one extra pack. So at $18 at 24 packs, you're looking at 432 USD per year. So that's what you're spending on the bleeps that you're not really gonna have to spend on something like a P10. Your year cost for a P10 is gonna be around $150 to replace the cushion every once in a while or replace the mask every once in a while, but your bleep cost is gonna be around $500 when you take into account the mask and all the halos you're gonna to have to buy. So 500 versus $150, so the bleep is more expensive. For people who are struggling with leaks, they're already invested in CPAP, you know, their expensive machine and all everything else that has to do with CPAP, you might as well go the extra distance and, and pay for a mask that's gonna give you the optimal sleep that you deserve. So although bleep is gonna cost you 
a few hundred dollars more than any other mask, it might be worth it to you. Okay, the last con that I have with this mask is I broke, the, I teared it here by accident. I was doing stress tests like I was doing with all my masks where I, I put it on, I kind of yank it a bit. And most of the other masks, because of the headgear, it kind of like absorbs the shock. But because this guy is right on your nose and the magnets are quite strong, I did a couple stress tests and I did actually tear the tube right here a little bit. So um, if you have a bleep, just make sure that you're not like standing up and forgetting it to take it off or anything like that, because that area for my test uh, did tear here. And if I look actually like kind of stress test other areas of the tube and kind of look at it, uh, maybe the material is a little bit thinner than some other competitors. But nevertheless, that is something to note, I did tear it there. So be careful of your tubes. Now let's put it on and I'll show you how I cut them. So I basically sacrificed the entire one of these and I finally made two versions uh, for myself and I labeled them template right and template left here. And I cut these guys here and now I'm not touching these at all. These are my nice templates. And now I know exactly how I want to cut my halos. Okay. So I would recommend making templates for yourself once you find a shape that works for you. So you ideally want to have a full halo around the nostril. My nostril is pretty good because it's like a perfect circle. It's actually like very similar to this. And then you want to have enough surface area sticky part on your nose here. And then you don't really want it to fold on your cheek here, just more on the nose area. And then on the bottom, I do have to do a little bit of a shave every now and again, right up where my mustache meets my nostril. Not a lot, just a tiny couple of hairs and that will allow it to stick a lot better. Once you get your templates down, you can just do this while watching TV. You know, a lot of people were saying that like, um, this is like a, a big hassle, but if you were gonna take account the time it takes to wash a headgear weekly, it's about the same amount of time as sitting down to the TV, grabbing your templates and cutting 30 of these out, right? So here it is, cut like that. Boom. And then I add a tiny little bit of a slit here. So I add like a bit of a slit here and that allows it to fold super nicely on my nose to have a really clean thing. So I cut it like that and then I add a little slit here like that, just like that. And then I take it off, move my mustache. Boom, boom. I'm doing this without a mirror. The, the little screen on my camera is too far away. I can't see anything. Okay, where is this? At? Put that down like that. Fold this down like that. Boom, there it is. Perfect, look how clean that is. I did it without even looking at a mirror. So like once you get used to it, I've only used this thing for a week. Unfortunately, I did, I did break it though. So that kind of sucks for me, but. So yeah, I don't really think the whole like annoyance of these guys is really that bad. When you take into account the amount of times you are gonna adjust your headgear and then you wa washing your headgear once a week, drying your headgear, it's like not much different than cutting out 30 of those you know, in the beginning of the month. It's really not that bad. With the templates, once you make something that you really like, super, super easy. So that's it for this review. I know I really raved about this mask. Know that we got paid nothing to make this mask at all. Uh, we can't even sell this mask in Canada. So making this positive review really benefits us zero amount. Um, but I try to give you my honest reviews and honestly, I think it's awesome. So that's it. Subscribe if you want. Stu, the inventor of the mask. Great job. Uh, take care, guys.